All right, I'm going to tell you a story about the fourth Rebbe of Chabad. I started the story, but I had an interruption in the mini, middle. Here we go. The story is about the Rebbe Marash. He was a young boy. He was four years old, four years old, six years old. And he used to go every day in the synagogue alone. And he would sit up in the women's section. The women's section is like on a, like a balcony all the way around. And I guess the lighting was better up there or whatever. And he would learn. He would learn it was quiet. And the, 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 all the men in the, the community, they would pray early in the morning. Then they would go to work. And they would come back and pray near, near the evening. So the whole day was free. So he was sitting there. It was, it was wonderful. He sat and learned. Nobody paid attention to him. Nobody bothered him. And it was quiet. <clears throat> One day, it, it just happened to be that he was sitting and thinking about something. And he heard the door open, the big door of the synagogue. And he looked down from where he was in the women's section. He saw there was this older lady. Maybe she was, you know, in her late 50s or 60s, whatever. So she came in and she went to the, closed the door behind her, went to the uh, Aron HaKodesh, you know, to the Ark in the front of the synagogue. And she started to cry and wail and scream. She needs money. She has to have money. She hasn't got any money. She hasn't got enough money for food. And she's got her grandchildren depend on her and her children. And she wants to marry off her daughter. And she's crying and yelling and screaming. So she's disturbing him. He can't learn. But he figures, OK, you know, have a little bit of patience. So five minutes it goes on, seven minutes, 10 minutes. And he, the, 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 and the young boy, <clears throat> Shmuel, is thinking, when is this going to end? So all of a sudden, he gets an idea. And uh, he stands behind this sort of pillar that's up in the women's section. And he says, Isha, Isha. Woman, woman. And she said, what is it? Who is it? This, this is the angel of Malach. You wanted money. This is the angel of money. The angel of Mechoyal or something. So she said, what's an angel? Wow, thank you, God. You sent me an angel. Yes. Yes, yes. I, I, I need money desperately. So he said, take a glass of water. Make a blessing. Take a little sip. And that water will heal people. And if it works, then you can ask for money. But don't tell anybody where you got this healing from. She said, oh, I, I won't tell anybody. Thank you, angel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. You saved my life. Thank you. Thank you, God, for sending me this angel. And that's when she backed on. She left. And the boy continued learning. He continued learning. So he was, let's say, at that time, I don't know, was six years old. I don't, what did I say? Six years old, eight years old. It doesn't say in the story how old he was. Anyway, when he was 32 years old, this is like 20-something years later. So his father, the Tzemach Tzemach, the third Rebbe, he passed away, and he took over. The Rebbe Shmuel took over. And he was a very, very delicate person. In fact, he passed away younger than any of the Rebbe's of Chabad. He passed away at the end, age of 48. Anyway, so he's the Rebbe. And let's say 10 years later, he's, um, he got sick. He got sick and it, it, regularly he wasn't, he wasn't always healthy. He was very sort of frail. In any case, a big boil uh, grew in his throat. And it was very difficult for him to drink or to eat. It was very painful. And the doctors were afraid to lacerate this boil because they were afraid maybe they might cut a vein or something, maybe it wouldn't heal. They didn't know what to do. So they tried all sorts of ointments and things. It was very difficult to get to because it was in his throat. So he was really suffering. So his wife, the wife of Rebbe Shmuel, she says to him one day, uh, you know, you've tried all these doctors. I heard that there is this old lady in the city of Lubavitch and she has this healing, or a nearby city, if you tap square, wherever it was, and she has this healing that she heals people. He said, well, I mean, maybe it's witchcraft. This is no, 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 no. She's a religious lady and everything. So good. I'll tell her to come. So she brings the Rebbe's, the Rebbe Shmuel, his wife, brings this lady. And the, the old lady, you know, 90s, who knows? And the Rebbe, he says, oh, Rebbe, you know, like, yes, if I can heal you, I hope so. He said, well, what exactly is? He said, I, it's a secret I can't tell anybody. She says, that's a secret. He says, that there's the, I, I have this special uh, the, the, this mixture that it helps. So where, where, where did you get it from? He said, I can't tell. It's a, it's a secret. I can't tell. So the Rebbe said, listen, I'm a Rebbe. 
And people tell me secrets all the time. And you can tell me the secret. You know, I won't tell anyone. I said, no, I promised I wouldn't. Uh, so, okay, if you don't tell me that I can't, I'm not going to take it. So she said, okay, you promise you're not going to tell anybody? She said, I promise. She said, well, and she tells them the whole story. You know, 30 years ago or whatever, or however it was, it was 20 years ago, I went into the synagogue and I prayed for money and an angel spoke to me from heaven and told me to take water and make a blessing. And suddenly the Rebbe remembered that that was him. That was him. He was the one. That was like the 20 years ago or whatever is 20, something 30 years ago. And this lady back then, she was maybe in her late 50s or 60. And now she's 90 years old. And this is this is the lady. This, this thing she's going to give, that's the thing he told her to do when he was a child. He wasn't really serious. As soon as he thought about it, as he started to laugh, he started to laugh. The, the irony of the whole thing. And now he's coming back and he started to laugh. And he really started to laugh. You know, he was laughing. His wife even came in. She was worried. What's going on? And he laughed. And the laughter that he did, it broke the boil that was there. And I guess he spit out the whatever. The doctors came in and they put whatever it is. And he goes healed. So it ended up that the advice that he gave her when he was only a boy of six years, six years old, it ended up that the advice, it worked. So we could see that the Rebbe had the power. This is the fourth Rebbe of Chabad. He had the power of healing, but he did it through, so to speak, natural ways, even back then. And it comes to show us that if we do something good and we intend for good, is we can never tell what type of amazingly good reaction and results there will be. Have a good day with Mashiach now.